Okay, so today we're going to be taking a look at a package called Decompress. Decompress is a package for decompressing zip files, tar files. So it's very simple to use. There's only a few commands. And right here I'm running the code asynchronously. And here I'm using the asynchronous await syntax. But you can also go ahead and use this with the dot den syntax. And that would look like this. But for today's video, we're just going to be running it with the asynchronous syntax. But it's very simple. You can see here we, we specify the path of the zip file and then the destination of where we want the extraction to go. And then we get some files here, which I will just go ahead and log out later. And then I show this basic done statement and an error statement if it errors out. But if we run this, you can see it goes very fast and we get our file here. And you can see we have our content in here. And this, by the way, was the content of the zip file. We can also go ahead and try this file. So let's delete this disk folder again. And you can see that we get both the data here. We get the file type. We get the path. We get um, some time here and a mode. And uh, we can go ahead and use this for different things. We can also apply filters to this. So let me just quickly copy a filter over here. So you define a filter like this. So it's pretty simple. This will exclude exe files. We can also go ahead and run a remap. And this will go ahead and remap the content of the folder. Uh, so I actually haven't ran this. So let's actually run it together and see exactly what it does. So let's go ahead and run it. And let's see. Oh, that was not what I meant to do. Okay, so you can see here, it just takes the, the name of every single file in the zip file, and then it renames it. So that's again, really cool for automations. But that was all for this video. I know it was very quick, but it's also a very simple package. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. If you want to see more of my videos, I have included two videos right here. And hopefully I see you in the next one.